We're going to take a look at the fraction 1 fourth and place it on this number line. We're also going to look at decimal equivalents. So, here we have the fraction 1 fourth and it's displayed two times. And we have a number line which represents the distance between 0 and 1 and it's divided into four equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4. Those are fourths. So we can place the 1 fourth right here where there is 1 fourth indicated on the number line. Now that makes sense. There's something interesting about 1 fourth and that is that it can also be represented as a decimal. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change the partitions on the number line. I'm simply going to show the distance between 0 and 1 with no partitions and I'm going to rely upon decimal equivalents to tell me more about where 1 fourth fits on the number line. So now I've got my 1 fourth and I'm placing it on the number line. Where does it go? Well we know it belongs here and in fact if we know our decimal equivalents, 1 fourth is 0.25. You know, sometimes we call 1 fourth a quarter. And if we have a quarter in our hand, money, that quarter is written in a manner that's very similar to this, 25 cents. When we write 25 cents, it looks very similar to 0 0.25. And in fact, we can represent this quarter, this one-fourth, as 0.25. And of course, it's going to belong in that same place. One-fourth and 0.25 mean the same thing. And this 0.25 shows us one-fourth of the distance between 0 and 1 on this number line. And if I go ahead and put those partitions here and I show my fourths, there it is. 0.25 and one-fourth. There are two names for the same value. One-fourth the distance between 0 and 1.